My name is uh, Jerome Clemens. I'm racing Enduro about 13 years now. Uh, I think I have raced the Mega 13 times and managed to win it twice. And uh, I've raced the Mountain of Hell seven times and won it two times. When we're racing at the limit with uh, hundreds of riders all going for the same line, there are many things that can go wrong. You must be able to deal with whatever happens, to know when you have to push or sometimes when it's better to be smooth. We start from high altitude, we go down to sea level, we ride our bike on every kind of terrain, from walking speed to 120k sometime on the glacier. These are the hardest enduro race in the world, but that's the spirit of enduro. It's to ride fast with your friends, have fun, enjoying the mountain. This is what I'm looking for every year. Last year, uh, the SRAM guys asked me if I want to be a part of uh, the SRAM development team. So, of course, I say yes. It will be great if we can have one buy all the time. So just use one chain ring and then be able to ride all the time with this. So, and they start talking about XX1. Uh, they gave me first the chain ring. They said, ride without any chain guide. And I say, no, this is not going to work. And I ride for one month with the top part of the chain guide and I had no problem and then I switched to no chain guide at all with the full XX1. I try to push as hard as I can, see if it works or not on rough terrain, uh, on rocks, roots, steep, late braking, backwards, pedals. The chain never came off. The bike is so quiet, it makes you really confident. You just have to think about choosing your, your line, going fast when you can and pedaling your ass off. <laughs>
they were, Rene was in front, Jerome was right behind him, and it looks like they were really hauling. So it's cool to see, uh, cool to see both those guys up there. Rene's uh, another one of the black box riders, but uh, great to see Jerome take the win. Yeah, Mega is, uh, is not only one day, it's first the quali, also on Friday, so you have to be on the front row because here it's more important. The glacier is different, it's, uh, the start line is uh, smaller and it's more contact, so it's better to, to start in front. This year it's uh, full of snow, the bottom part of the glacier, so it's way longer and good condition, so really fast to ride. But the top part, it's a mix of uh, rocks and snow, and uh, it's pretty soft. So I will start again with 38 because you can carry a lot of speed at the end of the glacier and there is some uh, bit on the fire road. So yeah, 38.10 could be useful. But maybe uh, the 42 with 38 uh, can be used. There is some sharp climb at the end of the single track and it's uh, slippery so maybe to spin the legs to have a better grip could be good. So there is 200 people here uh, by, by it and uh, the top three get in the front line for Sunday, the first line, so it's really important to be in the top three. You can be first or second, it's, it's better. We are at the top of Big Blanc Albuez, start of Mega. Uh, 350 people, it's a little bit icy on the start. There is a row of 30 riders really fast that after 20 meters it's only three that can ride on the same spot. So if you stay on a bike you can race. If not you have to do a multi-cross past tons of people. Alright, there were a big crash with a lot of rider. I was able to, so I keep my bike in my hand and able to ride quickly. I was like around 15 position, but then I had to stop to uh, put everything straight to ride to the to the bottom. So uh, I start at the end of the glacier at around 40th position. So it was a long way to to overtake a rider. They were really fair play, they let me pass, but you lost time everywhere a little bit. So I had to push hard in the uphill. I was really surprised at the end when the speaker uh, said that I'm six, I finished six. I, I, I thought I uh, was around 20th position. So it's a part of the game. <laughs> See you next year for the, the revenge. <laughs>